guys, it's Kashiba, and welcome back to Legends of Arceus. Oh, once again, been three weeks, don't really know what I'm doing, and I forget how to play this game, so excuse me one second while I figure out what in the hell I am supposed to be doing. Oh, wait, wait, never mind, I know what I'm doing. I just had to turn around. I'm doing something. Oh yeah, the obsidian fields, right? Because I gotta meet my. Oh, it's this punk again! I don't remember his voice. I gotta remember his voice for a second. Hold on. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to. Anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? That's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in history. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Okay, thanks, Volo. I suppose it's time to go meet... Oh. Didn't have to go far, I guess. Wait, are you my? I was expecting someone more... female. Oh, wait, or are you just looking for a quest? A side quest? Okay, your name's Moral. Yes, I fell from the sky. The Great Cake Lore Recipe. Or Cake Lure. Mushroom cake. Who the hell wants to eat that? I mean, I love mushrooms, and I love cake. But those two things don't go together. Unless, never mind. So I'm picking up a mushroom, huh? Where does one find mushrooms? I shouldn't even be helping you, bro. I've, I've got a girl to go meet. At least I think she's a girl. I'm assuming her gender, and that is not very nice of me to do at all. Oh, oh, that's an apricorn. I was about to say, oh, I found your mushroom, but never mind, it's an apricorn. Uh, don't I have Bidoof things to complete? Do I even have balls? I know I gotta catch a bunch. I haven't defeated any forms I've got. I don't know about that Bidoof that bothered the village. But I can't read the one that's behind my head. Hey, um... Right. Um... Excuse me while I forget how to play this game. Yay. I caught it. Oh, it must be my. That's a Munchlax. Whoa. Alright, crossing the bridge. Okay, invisible wall. Must talk to Galaxy member. Yeah, um, I am rank one, buddy. Move aside before I push you into the river. Alright. Over here. This here is Kashiba. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me, if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. 
I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You can call me Mai. I suppose you not you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to history. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is this. Do you feel confident enough that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? That's good to hear. That security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles on my side by choice, without needing any silly, silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Alright, Munchlax, you're- oh boy. Yeah, um, hmm. Could go quick, or I could go strong. He's a strong style gust. Yikes. This, mm, this is not gonna go well for me. Yep, insta kill. And nothing else is really a par. Well, the Shinx is. But it's only Quick Attack that has that. I don't have any fighting types. Let's see. I hit harder. That hit harder towards me. I'll just keep doing a strong style. Or I could also do a bite. Or a thundershock. Maybe that would bring it down more. I should have went Bite. Okay, I paralyzed it. Because that's going to kill. Mm. I'm going to try Aerial Ace. Okay, that was a little better. Okay, we're going to go Strong Style Gust. It's like it gave me the pity win. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Viva chokes, Vivi chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? That's... is that strange... thing of me of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. 
Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? Certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. So, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? I suppose that's to be expected. Let Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time, is said to have created the very universe using its power over a time slow, and this land of history was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in history with a connection to almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of the wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with all my niece Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Oh boy, I don't I don't know if I'm quite uh ready for an alpha pokemon i barely beat my so um yeah <gasps> new pokemon how do we swing crouch again mine yes yay cricketot new pokemon Now I have to check the Pokédex. And find out what I need to do for it. It's hard to see with my face in the way. Number caught, number of caught without being spotted. Number defeated, times if I've given it food. So I can throw food at it? Question mark? Number of different forms I've obtained, number I've evolved. Okay. How does one evolve a Pokemon? Tree is moving. Rowlet, what is in the tree? Go get it. The Burmy! Hello? Yeah, that's, um, not a good move. Um, hey! Where are you slithering off to? In the Pokeball. Ah! No! No, we, we don't need to use that. We don't need, we don't need to use Struggle Bug. Well, Leafage isn't very effective, so I'm gonna just use that. You can, you can, you can chill out with that. You can chill out with that, bro. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Yeah. There goes Rowlet. I am trash at this game. Finally. Oh my god. Yeah, um, I definitely am not ready for an alpha Pokemon.
Well, I got that completed. I know you guys can't see it behind my face, but seen it use struggle bug six times as I was struggling to, you know, catch it. Um, yeah, uh, what, what do I need for Burmy? Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. Number caught, number defeated. Number defeated with flying type moves. Seen it use struggle bug. Uh, different forms I've obtained. There's three, right. Because there's the grass one, the sand one, and I think the trash one. And number I've evolved. I'll have to go report that data at some point. But, um, I've got some reviving to do. Alright, um, I got those cherry berries you want. So what's this helpful tip that you have to tell me? Alright. I can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention to keep them distracted. Okay, so like the Krikatot. Why not give it a try I saw on the Krikatot round here? That's what I figured it meant. That? Or is that just a... No, that's just a flower. I thought it was a Sunflora for a second. Woo! A Geodude! I don't want to- oh god. Nope. Rowlet! I can't use a grass type move. So I'll use Gust. Right. So I'm going to have to revive Rowlet again, most likely. Stop. Okay. Well, I guess we're going after a Zubat now, too. Leafage should do. Man, I really suck at this game. All right, let's look at what I have to do for these guys. Geodude, heavy specimens, defeated. Seen it use rollout, defeated with water type moves, defeated with grass moves. Seen it leap out of ore deposits. And number I've evolved. All right. Oh wait, I didn't look at Zubat. I keep thinking I'm on PlayStation for a second, but you know what? Might as well take care of my Rowlet for a second. So number caught, number caught during daylight hours, number defeated, number defeated with rock type moves, times I've seen it use gust, number of different forms I've obtained, number I've evolved, investigated Zubat's knack for navigating in the dark. Okay. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. I guess I should start just defeating every Pokemon I run into. I can switch who I throw out. That's interesting. There's another time I've seen it use Gust. You know, I'm really scared to deal with this alpha Pokemon. I have no idea what level it is. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? Well, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? 
I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, Toshiba, to drive that entrelope, entrepo, oh my god, entreloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Upon my word, that, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Kashiba. Size is a potent weapon in, in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. You must face and make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Yeah, okay, um... That is a Krikatot. So... I might want to use something like Starly. Because of flying type. Um... Let me check something really quick. Can I just take a look at my Pokemon? No. I guess I just have to go in and... Oh, I'm stupid. Just want to check its moves. It's level 11. Gust. Okay, Gust and Aerial Ace. So... Use a lot of that. So, I think on the backup I'll have Shinx and then like Growlithe. I think that's what I'll do. Just hope for the best, I guess. Hi, pal. Hi, buddy. You're huge and disgusting. Oh boy, what level is this thing? I'm scared. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. The action speed of a Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with a high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. Oh my gosh. All ready. Okay. We're gonna do agile style. So I can act a little quicker. Gonna do another agile style so I can act quicker. It seems to be going down pretty quick. Okay. So we'll use Shinx. Or I could use Rowlet and use a strong style. I'm gonna take this risk. Use a strong style. Now 
There we go. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. You'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. What in the world? It's the great Wydeer. A word here. He looks upon you with kindness, Kashiba. I'd say the great word here has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of history while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Silene's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Kashiba took care of her request. Uh, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The great weird deer has taken a liking to Kashiba as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step towards that is completing the Pokédex. The Construction Corps should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to Wallflower like usual? All right, so here's the report. Should have caught more. Quite a bit of money for that. Not a whole lot of money, but you know. Wow, I checked off a lot. Look at that. I bet I'm not up a rank yet. Close. Many, old chum. The usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the great? 
grave news. The frenzy clever from the rumors had ended up falling some of our galaxy folk who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corpse will of course step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Kashiba can handle things just fine. Yes, put it all on me. But that Claver is said to be much, much stronger than even an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this pearliest work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Rise and shine, Kashiba. The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Alright, well, um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Also, follow me on Twitter at KashibaGamerGirl and on TikTok at KashibaChan. Also, don't be afraid to follow my other TikTok channel at Straw Cat Crew, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye